Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to update DaVinci Resolve. So basically how to upgrade DaVinci Resolve to a higher version. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. Now you don't actually have to go to the website to update. You can actually do it in DaVinci itself. And yes, your projects will still exist, don't worry. There's actually although a way if you are curious, if I go right here. As you can see, it's the project libraries here. Just make sure you click on this little icon here. Then we're going to type this details button in local database. And you can actually click on backup right here. You can also basically see just the file location if you were curious where it's saved. But here we're just going to click on backup. As you can see down here, it's actually a dot resolve. So this file basically is going to be a backup. A backup of the database and thus including all of your projects. And so you can just go ahead and save that somewhere wherever you want it to be on your PC. So that in case you have a backup. Even if you don't need that in an update, it's just if you're curious about how to actually get a backup just in case. You can click save. And if one day you, for example, want to import, it again you can actually go ahead and go here which is restore and you just go back to that same file where you saved the database basically what you just saved and you click on it and you have it just right there back again but as i said that's just in case you wanted to make a backup of your davinci resolve projects so now i'm actually going to go to a empty project here so i'm just going to click on untitled project now most of the time you actually have a window show up right here asking you to take the newest version but this doesn't always show up it generally only shows up once at the beginning of well a new update so how you can actually do that manually by yourself if you want to find it back is actually go up here you can just click on the word DaVinci Resolve and here you click on check for updates and as you can see in fact I have the update available here to the DaVinci Resolve 19.1.4 to be precise which is the most recent version at the time of this recording so what you can then actually do is just click on download here this will actually bring you to the web page now don't worry this is of course the official black design website with other words the company that goes over DaVinci Resolve but as you can see if I click up here in the right corner there's in fact the new DaVinci Resolve update that is currently downloading so this might take a little while but I'll be right back when it's done and as you can see right here when it's finished it actually show up right here as well and now what we can do then is actually go here and do show in folder also just by the way make sure that davinci resolve right here is closed just in case now what you can do then is just right click and do extract all and you can just extract it here why not as you can see it's a pretty big file size as you can see we just have the installer application right here inside so what we're going to do then is just simply double click on it as you can see it might say extracting when Windows asks you to allow changes, say yes. And then you go and this, this will appear right here. So I do advise you to use both right here because the Blackmagic RAW player is also a part of the Venture Resolve. It's a component, basically. If you really don't want or need that, you can just remove that. But I just advise you to keep it on both selected right here. Then we click install. So this basically is going to work like when you first download and install it. It's basically the same idea. You can see we just have a setup right here. I'm just going to click next here. And you just want to click that you accept the terms and license agreement. I'm just going to click next. Right here, you can browse it actually by changing right here. But I don't really advise you to do so. You generally just want to keep it on C and then in program files so there's not really anything you should change here except if you really feel like you want to put it somewhere else on your pc otherwise you can just leave this right here which i do advise you to do and click next and i basically just click install again and as i said this basically is like a general setup how yeah, we should generally do it but it's a bit different since we already had the program installed in the first place it's just updating basically to the latest version and once again of course you are keeping your old projects that you had so i'm just going to wait until it's done right here now in case you want to see the readme you can just show it right here but it's very optional so we can just go ahead and click finish here there we go, just click OK. Now we can close this, can also close this. You have a shortcut in case you want that. So basically you can launch it again, as usual. I'm just going to go to another Untitled project once again. And as you can see right here, we can immediately already see actually a new layout right here, new UI. And now there might also be some other changes right here. But as you can see, it is already clearly up to date here. And so if you go back to DaVinci Resolve here, or you go back to check for updates, as you can see, your software is up to date, DaVinci Resolve. And then as I said, the latest version at the time of this recording, which is 19.1.4. So you just have to click OK here if you're up to date. But that's basically how you do it, guys. This is basically how you do an update for a DaVinci Resolve, any new version. Of course, it's advised to do it as soon as possible as the version shows up. If, but if for some reason you don't want to actually update for a while, you can definitely put it as standby. And then at some point, once again, you can use this video if you want to jump back and actually download and install once again the latest version of DaVinci Resolve. But anyways, guys, hope it helped, of course. Please, if you like, it would be really nice. Subscribe, it would also be really nice. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.